Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. And this time we're going to talk about a do not do this type of thing. Uh, in fact, we're putting together a do not do this or do this series. This falls into the do not do this category. And so the very first thing I want to start with is unshielded hardware being used with shielded cable. So one of the biggest things in the Ethernet world about that falls into the do not do this category is using shielded Ethernet cable with unshielded hardware. In this case, we have an unshielded keystone jack here. And normally you would punch your Ethernet cable into this jack, and it, but this one is designed for unshielded cable. There is no metal on this particular keystone jack on the outside in order to bond this cable shield. The cable shield has to be bonded to your hardware so it can drain off the ground. So if it can't drain off the ground, this cable shield will not function properly. And so at, at, at the very best, you just purchased shielded cable and wasted your money because the cable shield is not going to work right. At the very worst, you could end up with what's known as a floating, floating cable shield. And what happens there is the floating cable shield could actually act as an antenna and actually attract in signals. So that is definitely not something that you want to have happen with your Ethernet cable. So if you're going to use shielded Ethernet cable, you want to use shielded connection hardware. And this is a shielded toolless keystone jack. And the conductors all terminate into this jack. And then there's a bond and ground spring right there, which makes contact with the drain wire and the cable shield. And then when you close this whole thing up, the outside shell of this metal key, uh, toolless keystone in effect becomes an extension of the cable shield. So it all be, in effect it becomes one unit electrically on the outside of this jack with this cable shield and then it can effectively bond off the ground. So there you go. That's, so that's a do and that is a do not do. No unshielded hardware with shielded cable you want to definitely not get yourself into problems, and that is a good way of getting yourself into problems. So with that, I'm going to say, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Check out our Cable Academy at truecable.com. We usually will put out a video that has a companion blog with high-resolution photos like this one. And so if you look at videos on YouTube, oftentimes it's actually part of a much larger blog on our Cable Academy, where we have high-resolution pictures and more explanations. Uh, leave us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you see fit. And with that, I'm going to say happy networking. You have a great day.